Hey guys, what's up? This is Zimmy and Basis. The next show I have for tonight on my list is called The Zeta Project. Now, of course, um, the character Zeta was actually on Batman Beyond, and so it's kind of like a spinoff, so it's pretty much considered part of the DC Universe, or animated universe, but it's really cool though. I mean, it's two seasons, lasted 26 episodes, I mean... It's kind of short, but it's very good because, you know, if you know it's like DC or, you know, anything like that, you know it's going to be good. Well, except for a few movies, but that's just my opinion. But anyways, so the show is basically about a humanoid robot named Zeta, of course, and he was basically a covert assassin on the behalf of the NSA, and... Basically, he discovers that one of his, um, you know, one of his targets that he has to kill is innocent, and he basically experiences an ex accidental crisis. I don't know if I got that word right. <clears throat> About goodness and the value of life, and he's following the epiphany, so he can find out that he no longer can kill because it just, you know, hurts him inside. So he refuses to continue on as an infiltration unit and he abandons his mission and he just goes rogue. <clears throat> He's pursued by a team of agents from the NSA by um, Agent Bennett and a 15 year old girl who ran away, or aka no runaway, uh, Rosalie Rowan, or aka Roe for short. And so basically, it just goes around like, you know, trying to get to know the character and understand the other character's stories. And like, um, basically, like, Agent Bennett thinks that he's still working for the enemies. Like, he changed, like, how he changed, because it's just probably thinking, you know, oh, he's still a traitor and et cetera, et cetera. So basically, the last episode I saw was, um, when his creator basically, I think you could see like his hand reaching out, I forgot what it was, but reaching his hand out and you see humanoid skin like just, you know, basically going back up on his arm. So kind of like regrowing itself. So it's like, okay, so that's a cliffhanger. But it ended. So okay. But it was still a good series. So how the show get canceled, I really don't know. Just probably because production or viewers but either one and how would it keep going if the show did come back um it was on kswb originally but i think cartoon network could do some good with it since it ran on that show for like three or four years and how would it keep going okay so it is part of the dc universe it did he did play a part in batman like i said so it's kind of like every other DC, Marvel, whatever. They're going to have, like, crossovers and, you know, all this other fun st Excuse me, fun stuff. Like, um... Like, maybe do, like, Batman could come back into the series. Like, what's going on with him today, you know, since the show's pretty old. You know, Rosalie's older. Is she working for the NSA? What's going on with Agent Bennett? The creator's alive again. How... You know, how's he doing? Is there more villains? Maybe Batman can make another cameo or maybe have some other people from the DC universe, you know, etc. Stuff like that. So I think that'd be pretty cool and everything. So anyways, all right, guys, this is me and Basis. I talked and or ranted about the Zeta Project, and I hope you all have a good day and night when you're watching this. Thank you.